Like this guy says it quite well. My life changed when I realized that most people are actually afraid of freedom because it means they'll be responsible for their own, own outcomes in life. Yeah, I guess I was kind of naive. Like 20 years ago, I was telling everyone about freedom, how we can have freedom. And I was always like, why does so many people seem to like, not only not care about what I'm talking about, but actually seem scared of me or hate me. <laughs> and it's because most people want to be slaves. And so it's really about taking care of yourself now. And you know, there's gonna be famines and stuff. I've talked about this in the past. If everybody had yards like this, instead of yards like this, no one would be starving. It's really about taking total control of your own life again. The way it was, I don't know, like a hundred years ago, it hasn't even been that long. Like everyone's got yards in places like the US. <laughs> and what do they do? They work all week to pay extortion. They go back and forth in their car as slaves and then on the weekend they mow the lawn on the grass and complain about why they're so fat because all the food they buy at Walmart's full of poison and uh, and how expensive food is and how there's like shortages and stuff when they could be growing it themselves I actually think the next few years is gonna be just incredible but you have to be really smart and most people have no idea so if you, if you have no idea, sign up to our stuff because this is all we've been talking about for the last 10 years. We've been getting ready for this. And one of the ways to really survive the next few years and make fortunes will be in cryptocurrencies, depending if they keep the power on and the internet on. But in one way or another, that stuff's still going to run. Like whether it's off of solar panels and ham radio towers or whatever it is, it's still going to run. You can, still, you can run Bitcoin off of ham radio. <laughs> You're probably going to win the video game, but you're going to have to become a superhero. So basically work on your physical, mental, spiritual stuff, basically nonstop, like quit your job to do it at this point. You're not going to have a job soon anyway, except for a few, very few sort of jobs. And uh, whatever you get paid in is going to be worthless soon anyway. <laughs> uh, so it's time just basically to work on yourself. And if you do that, that's really, that's actually true wealth. Like I've been talking about the Dollar Vigilante for 12 years now, since 2010, talking about how you can get a lot of wealth. The true wealth is all the work you can do on yourself and get out all that programming, get into the best physical shape of your life, get all the mental stuff out, all the traumas, all the uh, programming. And there's tons, like it'll take you years. And if you can do that, nothing else really matters. <laughs> Like that's the only thing that you should really be focused on. And if you're not, you really should. Happy people build their inner world. Unhappy people blame their outer world. Yeah, you might notice like, if you complain a lot over the last few years about all the problems in the world, you're doing it wrong. You might notice I don't complain at all. I actually have been enjoying it massively. <laughs> I've been totally enjoying it. I'm gonna continue to enjoy it. Even if they put me into the FEMA camps, I'm still gonna have a good time. It's just a video game and I'm just enjoying it, but that's really where it's at. And actually what this whole last few years has done is pushed a lot of people to finally realize they have to do this kind of work on themselves. And it's hard work, but it's totally worth it. Like even this whole three years, I've changed so much. So I've even been forced to change. Like I used to travel around a lot, drink a lot, but because of what's happened, I wasn't really traveling much. And because of that, I started really, I'll tell you that alcohol, even a couple of drinks a week can throw off your energy so much that you can't do that deep uh, spiritual and mental work through meditation and stuff anywhere near the same as if you don't drink at all. And I haven't had a drink this year and uh, no plans to. And uh, so in a way, the universe pushed me to start becoming what I'm going to try to become, which is basically a superhero. You're gonna see it in the next year or two. I'm going to do crazy stuff with physical. I'm gonna be one of the best people in the best shape on earth in the next couple of years. You're gonna see it uh, and mentally, well, I don't know if you'll see it because it'll probably shut everything down. Most people will be dead. But if you're around, if I'm still doing videos and if there's still the internet, you'll see it. And I, I suggest you do too.